hi so today we will be studying about cone and different shapes different two dimensional shapes which can be formed out of cone now if we consider a cone and we cut it through a plane which is perpendicular to the axis of the cone the shape which we will get is a circle okay. and we have already studied the different forms of a circle different equations of a circle okay now if we tilt the plane to some angle to the axis of the cone the shape which we will get is an ellipse okay it's just an elongated circle you can say now if we cut the cone in this manner to some angle from beneath the cone then the shape which we will get is called as parabola and if we cut the cone it's a bifocal cone if we cut it with the plane which is parallel to the axis of the cone then the shape which we will get is an hyperbola okay so today we will be just studying about one shape one of the conic shape that is parabola okay now parabola can be defined in two ways the one which we have already seen it can be defined as the shape which is obtained when a cone is cut at an angle at some angle to the axis of the cone and the other way of defining the parabola is this it is the collection of points or a locus of points which are equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line the fixed point is called as the focus and the fixed line is called as the directrix okay now just let us understand this definition so if i take the x and the y axis uh, i'll take a fixed point which is called as a focus i'll take a fixed line which is called as the directrix now i'll collect all the points which are at a same distance from the line as well as the fixed point the focus and the directrix so if i take few points one two three even here and if i join all the points the shape which i get is a parabola okay now we'll just understand few basic parts of a parabola you know the fixed point that is called the focus the fixed line that is called as the directrix okay now there are many chords that can be drawn to a parabola okay uh, the chord which passes through the focus is called as a focal chord okay so we'll we can draw many focal chords but the chord which is perpendicular the focal chord which is perpendicular to the axis of parabola is called as the latus rector so there are few major parts of this parabola one is the focus the other is the directrix the other is latus rectum the other is the vertex the vertex is the last point the end point of the parabola okay uh, we can see the coordinates now before moving on to all these basic parts the equation of the line or the coordinates of the focus we should understand what is the equation of a parabola how it what is the general equation of a parabola the general equation of a parabola is y square is equal to 4ax okay a can be any number a can be any scalar number which we need will need to find in different questions so now if this is the equation of a parabola then the focus is given by a comma 0 the vertex is usually at the origin 0 0 because this type of parabolas are called as standard parabolas okay just as we have seen in the case of circle the standard circle the circle which has the center at the origin are the standard circle so standard parabolas are the one which have the the vertex at the origin okay so the focus is given by a 0 as the distance is a same will be the distance with the directrix so that side the distance is also a so the equation of directrix becomes x equal to minus a that's on the negative x axis okay. then we can see the end points of latus rectum are given by these two coordinates and yeah these are the basic parts of a parabola now let's take a simple example to understand how do you find different basic parts with the given equation now suppose the given equation of a parabola is y square is equal to 8x now comparing with this with general equation y square equal to 4ax i'll get the value of a as 2 now once you get the value of 2 we know what is the equation what are the coordinates of the focus that is a comma 0 the 2 0 is the focus same the directrix x is equal to minus 2 
the end points of latus rectum or the length of the latus rectum we know all the formulas which we require okay so in this we just need to find out the value of the variable a from the given equation and we can get all the basic parts or we can exactly state where is the parabola situated or what is the shape of the parabola now once you understand this there are different types of parabolas now we have just seen one type of parabola which has its axis as positive x axis now if the parabola is of the equation the equation of the parabola is y square is equal to minus 8x if the equation of parabola is y square equal to minus 8x remember the minus sign indicates that the parabola is on the negative x axis so the shape will look like this now the focus turns out to be minus a comma 0 and the directrix turns out to be x is equal to a remember the coordinates will be the same just the sign will change the end points of latest rectum the length of latest rectum will remain the same as if the length it is always positive the coordinates will be in the second and the third quadrant will change the sign of them and the vertex remains at the origin again now there are two more type of parabolas if we square the x coordinate and is equal to 4ay if it is x square is equal to 4ay it means the parabola is on the positive y axis right and exactly in the same way if the equation is x square is equal to minus 4ay so the parabola is on the negative y axis so these are the four basic type of parabolas which we will be studying so just make a note of them and we'll move on to few questions regarding these 